Hey, uh, well, normally I say gun or horse people because that's my channel, but this is a uh, computer tip. So maybe I'll say non-computer literate people trying to copy files like I was. Uh, I was trying to find a program to get to combine two MPG files. And I didn't want to go buy an editing program just to combine two. And my recorder, sometimes, if I go over 30 minutes, it will make one video into two videos. So I'll end up with a video for 30 minutes, then I'll end another video with one minute. So I was looking for a way to combine those. Or if you just want to combine three or four little clips that you've made into one video, this is a great way to do it with DOS. Uh, I've tried everything and it's just been a pain in the butt and nothing seems to work. So this is going to be a nice, easy way to combine MPG, uh, MPG files either two into one or three into one or four into one. And you're going to have to have a little bit of knowledge about DOS. Uh, I, I, I'm okay with DOS, but um, I'm going to kind of walk you through it here so you can kind of figure it out. And then you can, if, if I do this, then you can go back, pause it. So if it seems like I'm going fast, you can you can pause it and go back. So here's, here's some of the notes. Uh, you want to get a directory file that you name. And then, and basically what you're doing is you're running a, a DOS copy program. And one of the commands for DOS is copy. You can delete, rename, do all kinds of things in DOS. Before Windows, that's all people what used to do is DOS. But the system still has DOS if you're using Windows. And this, and this just doesn't a background. You don't need a computer. You don't need a special program. You don't need to pay anybody. It, it, it's pretty damn easy. So, um... Uh, you can read all this later. I'll read it. It says type in copy, then the slash B, which is the B command, is for the binary mode. Uh, after that, then you put the names of your MP files with the plus sign, which is basically meaning you're going to add them. And then uh, then you want to put the file name that you want to do it. So, so here's the copy. So here's what it's going to look like when you get to DOS. And I'm going to get you there in a second here. You're going you're gonna to type copy. And then you're going to put space B, and I'll have this in the description so you can actually just drag this, copy it, and then change it. So to copy, then the slash B for the binary, and then I on this is just one MPG, two MPG. What I do is I rename my MPGs one and two. That way I can't screw up the typing. If your one MPG is, uh, you know, the earth is going to end dot mpg and you mistype it in one way it'll mess it up so the shorter your mpg the less likely you you're gonna mess it up so if you label them one two three and four then you know it's gonna combine them so again all these mpgs have to be in the same file and then i just put combine mpg this is what i'm gonna name them if i don't want to name them combine i can put uh, group or uh... you know my my new I can put new MPG whatever I want to name this when this copy command executes it's gonna add one MPG two MPG three four and then it's gonna make it into one program one file which is gonna be new MPG and it will contain all four of these so uh, so let's go back to DOS how do you get to DOS so this is some of the commands I was typing in and when I copied a couple of these and I did it and I wanted to make sure it worked before I lost my uh, files so I kind of had to rename a few etc. So how do you get to the command prop? Well, there's a couple of ways. Uh, in Windows 10, if you right click on the little windows, it says command prop, command prompt, admin. Um, so that's one way to do it. If you're using another Windows, you're going to have to use the run command. Oh, crap, I got to get a... I was looking. Sorry about that. I forgot to readjust this. So, uh, on this, and I've got mine on the side. Most of them are at the bottom. So, I'm going to click on the little Windows logo, and it brings up my start menu in Windows 10. However, if you right-click on the logo, it brings down this menu, and it gives you the run program, or it gives you the command prompt. So, if I hit the command prompt, it's going to open up my command prop and it's put me in the folder of user and Rick. This sounds confusing, but, but it's really pretty simple. Once, once you do it and you figure it out. So this is the folder that it's in right now. So I'm going to cancel that. Make sure you got this. I'm going to go back up to Windows again. Right click. And I'm going to hit run. If I hit the run command, it gives me this little box here. 
And to get to the command prompt from the run, you need to type in CMD. So CMD is what you put in a run program. That means I want a command prompt. And then you hit enter or you hit OK, and it gets you to your command prompt. So once you're at this screen for your command prompt, you want to be in the right, um, and boy, this, this white isn't showing up real good on here. So unfortunately, the white, let me, yeah, let me lean it forward a little bit. That might help. So this is saying user and Rick. So it's got me in the Rick folder. Well, I want to be, I want to, I want to move my things to the document folder. Um, so I want to change directories here. Now you don't have to change directory. If I want to, I can put, if, if you know how to get to your Rick folder, you can put one MPG and two MPG in your Rick folder and then run a command. But you have to have all the MPG files that you're going to be combining in the same folder. And I put mine in document. So I need to get to the document folder. To change directory in DOS, it's CD for change directory. Okay? And then if I want to, if I just want to go backwards on this, if I put dot dot, it'll move me back. You notice now I'm in just users. It took away the RIC. So I want to re add the RIC. I want to go back to the directory RIC. I'm going to put CD backslash RIC. And now when I hit enter, oh, what do I do? Maybe it's CD. Crap. Oh, I put Rick. I need to put the whole folder. So it's CD backslash user, users, because that's where I'm in now, then slash, then Rick. So now it adds Rick back. Everybody seeing that? Uh, shit, I went down too low. Darn. Trying to keep this thing in a video when I'm watching my screen. So um, let me let me do a CLS. This is a clear screen. CLS. So it's going to take away everything. We're going to go back to top. Okay. So now I'm in the folder of user and Rick. So I want to get to the documents folder. And I know the documents folder is in here. If I do a dir command, which is a directory, it gives me all the folders in that file. And I'm going to see here documents. So I know that's a folder. So I can change directory and go to any one of these directories I want. So let me do a CLS here and get me back to the top. So I am up here. I want to I want to get to my document folder. So I'm going to put CD backslash user and Rick. I got to copy it just like it says users backslash Rick backslash. Now I want documents. And now I'm in the documents folder. So now I have to make sure that my MPEG or my MPG files are in the documents folder. So we're going to shrink this down and I'm going to go to this program here, which is um, I think your file editor or something where you, uh, what is that called? Eh, it doesn't tell me what it's called. I can't do properties. I think it's just file editor. So you go to where your files are, it gives you your tree, and I see Rick, so I want to click on Rick, and now I see Documents, I want to click on Documents, and now you can see up top here, it shows me I'm in Rick folder Documents. So that's got to match where you are in your DOS prompt, here. So I'm in Rick Documents, so I know. Uh, if I do a DIR here, it's going to give me all these files, so that's too many. I don't want to see all that. Let me go back to that. All right, so now that I'm in the right folder, I want to make sure I have a 1 and 2 MPG file that I'm going to be copying. So I named these two. One of these was a video I was doing that was like two minutes. They were short, so I wanted to do them short. And the other one was an old... Uh, video on uh, MySpace on Saturday Night Live. So the first MPG, I'll play it to make sure it's the right one. Okay, this is the old MySpace. What's up, everybody? I am pumped to welcome you to the Learning Annex's MySpace and You Seminar. Okay, so this is a Saturday MySpace seminar out. tape, and I'm going to combine it with two, which is a... Family shows up. It goes from me being an asshole tough guy to emo... Okay, so... I'm going to combine these two videos because this is one and two. 
So they're both in the documents folder. I know they're in the right folder. And again, I can have them in any folder I want, but I'm just using my documents folder because it makes it easy to find. So now I'm going to go back to my DOS prompt. Remember this uh, little thing here that we had to type in here. I'm going to go back to my DOS prompt. And we're going to see I'm at user Rick documents. And then up here, you're going to see where I've put that command right here. Copy, space, slash B for binary, 1MPG, space, plus, space, 2MPG. So that means I want to combine 1 and 2. And then I have to put what I wanted to call. This one I put my movie. So that's what it's going to copy these two. So now I'm going to do that same command. And because I've already typed it once or twice, if I hit F3, I think it just repeats it. Nope, that's not it. There we go. So I hit F3, and that just repeats my last command I typed because I already typed it. So, and again, I'm going to have this in the description. You can copy it. So now I have copy, slash B, 1 MPG, plus 2 MPG, and I want it to be called my movie. I'm going to go ahead and change this and make this uh, YouTube. Uh, combine MPG. So now it's going to copy one MPG, two MPG to YouTube combine MPG since I'm making a YouTube video. And now I'm going to hit enter and it took one and two and it says one file copied. So now that it copied those two, I'm going to go back to my document. Here's my documents folder. I want to make sure, I'm just going to uh, make sure it refreshes here. I don't know if it put it in there or not without me refreshing. Let me check. What did I call that? YouTube? There it is. Last thing at the bottom, you notice it added YouTube Combine MPG. So now if I play this video, it should have combined the two videos. So here is the MySpace video. What's up, video. everybody? I am pumped to welcome you to the Learning Annex's MySpace and You seminar. And unfortunately, I, I can't go forward MySpace on this. So that you can oh, maybe I can. Six million young people currently in the MySpace community. Okay, let's... And then there's where it combined my other one. So I'm trying to see where exactly it combined them. Have a way to police that? <laughs> Not really. So if my son was... 45, you could say he was 15. Your son is 45? I said if he was 45. It's hypothetical. Well, yeah, technically he could say any age he wanted, but why would he do that? Well, sometimes people from one age group feel more comfortable around people of another age group. Um, maybe he wants to put what age his soul is and not what age he actually is. And now it just connected my second vehicle. Not really. So if my son... And for some reason, it, it kind of screwed this up. But it it worked on the last couple times. I don't know why it's doing this. Uh, I think I made two or something. Who knows? Anyway, that is an easy way to combine it. It works. If you want to test it first, do it. Uh, make a copy of what you're, conjoin or you're joining up or combining so you don't keep keep another copy somewhere else so in case it screws it up but it worked perfectly fine on two other videos that I did it's a great way to combine them I didn't have to get another program I didn't have to go buy a program I couldn't find a free one I downloaded three different ones that it didn't work this seemed to work uh, if you use DOS uh, if you got any questions I can answer them in the uh, comments so hopefully that helped